What's going on guys? In previous video we looked at all of the lightning ashes of war. In today's video we're going to take a look at all of the blood ashes of war and compare them one by one to see which one we think is best. I'm going to give you a quick demo of each ashes of war as well as the location of where you can find it. All right the first ashes of war we're going to look at is called blood blade. This grants the skill of blood blade Provides blood affinity, which adds arcane scaling and adds bleed buildup attacks. Decreases all other scaling types and can be used on small and medium swords. This Ash of War can be found on the north side of the map. If you take the Erd Tree Gazing Hill and you go from here, you go northeast. It should be right about here. It's in a swamp and it drops from a teardrop scarab. All right, let's take a quick look at what it looks like in combat. Gonna see what the ability does against this troll here. Seems to do small damage. Flings blood at them. Seems at really good range though. I think that's the thing about this one. Seems to miss a lot for whatever reason. Quick reminder that all of these weapons cause blood loss buildup, so depending on how many times you hit your target, you could proc the bleed, which will take a huge chunk of health from them. Alright, the second Bleed Ashes of War that we're going to take a look at is called Bloody Slash. This Ash of War is found when you kill a mini boss at the top of Fort Height. So just work your way up to the top of Fort Height, you'll find a guy there at the top. Once you kill him, he will drop this for you. Alright, this one is very similar to the first one that we looked at for the special ability, but the damage is much higher. I would say probably four times the damage but it also has a, a way shorter range on it. All right, the next one we're gonna take a look at is called Blood Tax. Basically what this Ash of War does is when you use this ability, it will heal you. So it's kind of like a life steal. To get this Ash of War, you're gonna need access to the Mogwin Palace. You're going to spawn at the mausoleum entrance here and you're going to run all the way around this. When you get all the way down to the back here, there's like a little cave that you're going to go into and it will drop inside that cave from a scarab. All right, what I'm going to do for this one is let the troll here get me down to about half health and then I'm going to try and steal as much life from him as I can. Totally missed him the first time. Did we even get any health back from that? Doesn't really seem like we're getting any health at all. Okay, we're getting a little bit. If you don't have a very big health pool, this might be good, I guess. Otherwise, it seems fairly useless. Yeah, I'm going to say no on this one, at least for me. All right, and then finally the last one on the list here is called Seppuku. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this enemy without the Seppuku up, and then we're going to try it with the Seppuku up and see maybe what the damage difference is. You're going to find this Ash of War at the Freezing Lake. When you spawn, you're going to run southeast. There'll be a big tree there, and you'll see footprints going around the tree. It's going to be an invisible scarab, so just swing until you end up hitting it. It only takes one hit to kill it, but it's a little bit tough because he moves kind of quickly. First, we're going to hit him without the Seppuku up and kind of see what the damage is. If 
fighting only hit him once. It's like 350. 365 without Sabuku up. Like they're around two, like. It's hard to tell on these guys because I just one shot them, but it looked like it was around 350. All right, now we're going to try it with the seppuku up. So you basically stab yourself. It coats the blade in blood, which is pretty cool. It's got a lightsaber animation. And now keep in mind it was 350 before without seppuku. So let me just hit him a couple times in the legs here. Unless he hits me first. 850? 450? 850. So there's quite a bit of difference. This is huge. Three fifty compared to eight fifty is huge. One more thing that I want to do, because I'm sure people will have questions about it, is just quickly see how long it, it lasts for, so how often you'll have to recast it in a boss fight. I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll let you know here what the timer was for it. All right, so the verdict was it lasted one minute exactly. So if you guys learned something new or if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you in the next video.